Hi guys, if you do not recognize my face, I am Sonia and I am your Saturday on Crazy But Clap. I'm going to tell you three moments in my brain that I have accumulated over the years. One is scarring, one made me think I'm really cool, and one's really gross. Hopefully you enjoy them. I was around six or eight, can't really remember, and we were on holiday with another family near the beach. We were playing in the pool and I was still a little kid and the grown-ups were playing water volleyball or polo or something like that. I was sitting on the edge of the pool with the goal box around me. And like a kid does, I decided to grab hold of the bar on top of me and kind of hold on to that really tight. And you can kind of see where this is going. I think I was starting to swing on it and the net kind of fell forward. And if you know anything about a goalie net, here's a picture. It's kind of, if it was against a wall, the bottom part, it's kind of like a fish net, kind of gets you trapped. Anyway, this heavy goal fell on top of me while the ball was on the other side of the pool. So I kind of fell under, practically drowning under this net and heavy metal. I was trapped underneath, kind of like a fish. It wasn't until another person looked over and saw I wasn't sitting there and neither was the goal to realize what happened. They quickly swam down and lifted this heavy net. I just still have this memory of being trapped under there. So when I was little, I wasn't exactly a tomboy, but I did have this fascination to wanting to turn my bicycle into a motorbike. I had this old bike and I wanted to redo it. Man, I could be on MTV for this. So me and my dad unassembled this whole entire proper bike. We took off the wheels and we had the body of the bike separated and we kind of just took it apart and spray painted it black. This was an orange and yellow bike and I completely transformed it with my dad. We added on black plastic to the body to make it look like there was an engine inside. We even cut out a bull, bull out of plastic and drew the red eyes, nose and everything and stuck it on the front to make that like really cool motorbike look. Bear in mind, I was little. The bike was practically that tall. It did not look like a motorbike as convincing I thought it was. I went to school thinking I was so cool to have a motorbike. Here's a photo of what the bike looked like when we were assembling it and here was the after. Story number three. I have a very close friend called Becca and when we were little we would play all sorts of things. We would play dress up, we would look for fairies, we would go on adventures, play in mud and water and we had a crazy idea that day. Anyway, we were in her house in Bulgore, and out front is kind of like a gutter. It's more kind of like a water passage thing, but gutters in Indonesia are never clean. We had previously caught crabs in there with her older siblings, and today we were on our own. We were looking for these kind of little hermit crab, slug, snail kind of things. So we took probably around 20 or 30 of these little slug hermit crab things and just collected them. They were kind of gross, and they stuck on the side of the gutter walls. We were strange. Anyway, so we took these off and we collected them and we went back into her garden. Now her mom likes ceramic and big clay pots. So she had this huge ceramic pot, probably like that big in her garden. And it had like a little waterfall and it was just pretty much filled with water. We had a brilliant idea. What we did is, yeah, we stuck all that mush of snail and just put it in there. I think we were trying to stick them on the wall of this overflowing pot, which didn't turn out as good as we planned. And eventually, either we clogged the actual fountain of it, or got stuff off the wall, and this mush of black goo just started pouring out the sides of the pot, and it was gross. And I just remember having all this gunk, probably like a couple handfuls of it, just pour out of her mother's nice big ceramic after sticking hermit crabs or whatever they're called on the side of them because we thought that was a great idea and I pretty then there were these overflowing snails coming out of this pot it was gross but fun and that's one of the memories I can really remember so thank you very much for watching please check out my channel by clicking my hand if you like my videos and I promise you I will be uploading more on my channel I'm just starting off again because I was gone in Japan but I will be posting more regularly here, right here. I'm just gonna post things on my hand. Thank you very much for watching. Boom, she clack clack. 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 Boom, she clack clack.